Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Apple One to One. This is Will. Since our last episode, we talked about weather for Mac OS. I figure we just go on to the next thing that's pretty close to it, which is the Apple Stocks app. Some things are pretty similar to that app, and if you want to go take a look at our weather video, please go back and look at our previous video, and we talked about weather for macOS, and this is now going to be stocks for uh, macOS. So, it's pretty much laid out, pretty similar to weather app. All your items are here on the left, and then all your information is on the right. So, if I was to click on a symbol that we already have here, we do have Apple here. We have information. This is coming directly from Yahoo Finance, and they've been doing that since day one, and you could look at stocks from up from one day all the way to lifetime if you really wanted to look at it. Uh, so look at it like this. I started Apple back in here. So if you want to look at how far I've come and how much stock I have, that's a great number to look at, everybody. So just so you can get an idea or perspective of it. Now you can even see on the top right corner, it'll tell you the percentages of how the stock increase. You'll look at one month, you can look at three months, and you can look at one year. So you can see all the different ways you can analyze a stock and see how well it's done in a certain amount of time. Uh, also below that is all the articles that come with it. So throughout the day, you can see all the different information that's been coming through article-wise, talking about that company. Some companies have more stuff than others. Obviously, Apple's a big one. Another stock I invested into, which I think you all should just to help me get it up a little bit, uh, is Zevia, which is a, you know, of course, the company we I promote on my podcast sometimes. And you can see they're not doing great. So, yeah, so they, you can see like two weeks ago, five weeks ago, seven weeks ago. So, again, depending on the company. All you got to do is look up here on the top left corner and type in the word that you want to look for. So, we're going to use Chase, and we're going to hit the plus sign. And now that adds Chase directly to the stock. And you can keep looking around for different ones to hit and hit the plus sign. Once you hit done... Look at the bottom, and JP Morgan is down here on the bottom. You can also rearrange all these around. So if I go take JP Morgan, I want to put it at the top. I'm just going to drag it up to the top here, and there it goes. Also, if you don't want the stock anymore, all you got to do is hit delete on your keyboard, and then it'll tell you, do you want to delete it from your keyboard? And you say, yes, I want to remove it, and it's gone. Now, on the side here, it says my symbols, and then if you look here, I have something called tech stocks. This is a custom list that I created that I wanted to see only certain stocks. So what you do is when you click up here, you can go to new watch list. So when I click on new watch list, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all the media companies that I follow. So I'm going to hit save. So now media has nothing in here. It's completely empty. But what I could do is go back to my list and add the symbols. So you can add it right here or go back to my symbols. I'm going to go to Endeavor, and then I'm going to right-click, Manage Symbol, and then I'm going to hit Media, and that's it. Now, if I go to Media, there it is. And then you can start doing it with all the other ones. So I'm going to go back to my stocks, do one more company. So I'm going to go down to Netflix. I'm going to go there. I'm going to go to Manage Symbol. I'm just going to go hit Check Off Media, and that's it. And then I'm done. And that way you can switch between all the different stocks that you want to do based on what they are. Uh, you come up with your own ideas of what you want to do. You go to manage watch list. So if you decide that you don't want a list anymore, you can hit the minus key, which would remove that list. It'll delete it from all your devices. And again, of course, this syncs across everywhere. And of course, you can just hit plus and you can add the watch list as well. There's two ways to do it. Also, just some other tools here on the top right corner. You could also see the watch list up here as well. So there is another way to do it. So if I was to, just to go back to the example, new watch list, I'll type the word media, click on my symbols, Netflix, and then up here, I can just again do the same thing, check off media. So again, multiple ways to do the same thing. Going back to that down here, you can also click on, when you click on an article, it'll take you directly within the same app, and it'll give you the information you want to look at. You can also go up here, and you can actually save that story. So if you want to save it down in the future, you can. This does connect directly to Apple News. Also, you will see here a little symbol here that indicates that, that that will likely not go away. So if you're saving that, you will not remove it. And then you have other options as well. So you can share this article out. You can save to Apple News. So if you want to go right to Apple News, or you can copy the link as well. On the top right corner, you have the share button. So if I want to share this stock to other people, you can just click on 
the person and you could share it out. You could obviously send it to notes. You could send it to messages. You could mail it. So there's many, many different things as the share button usually does. There's not much to the app, but one thing I did want to bring up on the top left corner is reset identifier. This is something a lot of people probably wouldn't talk about. So Apple News and Stocks use, it, use an identifier to report statistics to news publishers. You can reset the identifier at any time. So that's what, this is what that does. So if you're interested to know more about the identifier, you can choose help about stocks and privacy. So this is definitely about information that it's probably taking from you. So if I go to help about stocks and privacy, you can see every here a little bit of information about how you're protecting it. Uh, but there is information here you want to take a look at. And if you do feel like you're not, you want to reset some information, you can go up here to reset identifier. And then that'll give you a notice saying, hey, it's going to reset the identifier for app, but used by Apple News and stocks. If you click on see more data from Yahoo Finance, it'll take you directly to the Yahoo Finance site. The last thing we're going to talk about right is right over here. This button right here, when you click on each button, as you can see, it's changing. It's showing you the percentage of loss or gain for the day. It shows you the point loss or gain of the day, and it tells you the value of the company overall. So you can click on these symbols to change them if you want to do so. Lastly, we're going to add the widget of here. As you can see, I already have a widget right here for it. So all we have to do is click on the top right corner, go to edit widgets. I'm going to now type the word stock. It now gives me a couple of different stock options, whatever which one you want to choose from. So right now I have a three watch list. So it has three options and it tells you the symbol itself. So if you have a symbol specifically that you want, you could do the symbol with one news, three news articles, or just a quick little short one, almost like an Apple Watch looking one. Uh, so all you got to do is just drag it, put it where you want to put it, and that leaves it right there, and you're done. Uh, if you want to go back later on and want to get rid of the stock, all you got to do is right-click on it, go to Remove Widget, and you can remove it. You can also go to Large and Small. So you can add widgets directly to your screen that can stay here permanently. So that's the app. It's pretty simple, guys. Really not too much to it. I hope you gained some information from our article today. And uh, please come back for all of our different trainings. And I love every single one of you.